Hello, I am Jameson Glenn Lim, a civil engineering board exam passer of May 2022. And fortunate enough, with God's grace, I was able to garner the top one spot in passing the board exam. And to be able to receive such a blessing is truly incredible. And I'm sure a lot of you watching this video would want to reach for success in the board exam as well. So in this video, I would be sharing to you my board exam journey along with practices and ideas that I would want to share with you, hoping that you may use these to reach your goal for the board exam and even beyond as we practice our profession. So let me start with a little about my college journey because it was during my college years when I started to develop my passion to strive for excellence. Uh, let me begin with memories of my first weeks of being a college freshman. I'm not sure how you felt when you started college, but for me, I was kind of scared. I was scared and this is because ever since high school, a lot of people say, hey, you have to be ready for college because the culture is very different and you may be drifted to a different path than you wanted. Or some would also say the teaching style is very different. Even if you're an honor student in high school, you will be having a difficult time catching up with college lessons. So these were some of the lines I heard before entering college. Well, this may just be warnings, but for me, it was more of a limiting belief that hindered my excitement for college. And hearing limiting beliefs just kept on going for me. When I was in my first and second years of college, upper years would tell us a lot of students that are expected to fail in civil engineering starting third year, or that you can't maintain an active lifestyle because of stress. I guess we might not have encountered the same limiting beliefs, but I'm, I'm quite sure you've been told of limiting beliefs as well. So this brings me to my first advice to you. Do not limit yourself with false beliefs. So instead of telling you that preparing for the board exam is very difficult, I want to tell you that you are enough to reach whatever goal it is that you have. Good for me back in college because I was able to push past from the limiting beliefs which I was able to encounter and shifted it into a motivation to prove otherwise. But not everyone would be able to do the same. That is why you must strengthen your confidence in yourself. Believe in yourself. Do not limit yourself to what others tell you. Because no one knows you better than you. That is why the most important words are the words you tell yourself. If you tell yourself you can do it, then you can. So believing in myself was a very important aspect in achieving my college goals and board exam goal, but as equally important as to dream big. Now, how do you know if you're dreaming big enough? You'll know you're dreaming big enough if you feel uncomfortable towards doing it all alone. Because in dreaming big, you have to understand that it is more of a team effort to accomplish it. Just like my goal for the board exam, I knew I was dreaming big because I needed the support of my family. I needed the help of a review center. So do not be afraid of dreaming big. Regain the confidence you were born with. Try to ask a kid of what he wants to be in the future. He'll tell you with confidence, I will be a civil engineer. I will be a doctor. We were born loaded with confidence, but why is it that sometimes when we are asked, what is your goal for the board exam? We would just say, Gusto kong mag-top, pero okay lang naman if pumasa lang. If you want to be a top-notcher, believe you can do it and stick with it. Dream big. Do not worry too much on how to get there because you will continue to grow and learn along the journey. What's more important is that you know where you are heading to. You know what dream it is that you want to turn into a reality. So... Continuing my story, I was really able to fulfill my college goals. Then here came the board exam, the next challenge after graduation. I thought it was all set. I already planned of reviewing in Cebu with my group of friends. 
we already uh, found a place to stay in. But then the pandemic happened. It changed everything. It, cha it changed so much that I almost wanted to give up the idea of taking the board exam. But I held on to the reasons on why I wanted to be a civil engineer. engineer. Because in life, we can't be too sure of what lies in the future. So we have to learn to be resilient, to be able to adapt to the changes and transform what seems to be difficult into something for our advantage. For example, I did not like the thought of having an online review in the beginning. But if you are to ask me now, I would even prefer having an online review compared to a face-to-face -face review. This is because I have already adapted to the setup of an online review and have acknowledged its benefits for me, such as having to spend less time in traveling since I'm just at the comfort of my home. So the dining area is just a few steps ahead. The bedroom is just a few steps ahead. So it's very convenient, but it really depends on our preferences. That is why it is very important to know what you truly want. Do not simply follow what others tell you. Learn from the experience of others and apply to yourself only what fits to your preferences. So, uh, as said, my board exam preparation was able to go through a pandemic, which included two board exam postponements. Uh, some might think that the long preparation is an easy path to ensuring a better chance for the board exam, but I would say it is not that easy because along my long preparation, I got dilemmas whether I should start working, anxieties for another possible postponement, and the pressure on what to contribute to the family since I have already taken a lot of time sitting in my desk preparing for the board exam. But despite the uncertainties, I stayed disciplined and continued to improve and improve. And I was only able to do this because I trusted in God's plan for me. For more than a year, I did my best to maintain my daily routine of waking up as early as 5 in the morning, knelt down in prayer, doing a morning workout, meditating and visualizing the future I want to manifest, wearing a white polo shirt and pants even if I'm just at home just so that I would get used to the feeling of the clothes that I would be wearing in the actual board exam, uh, studying for 10 hours a day, and sleeping at exactly 9.30 p.m. every night. For more than a year, I dedicated my time in maintaining this routine because I wanted to give out my best preparation for the board exam. Because to top the civil engineering board exam is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I did not want to regret anything in my preparations. Hence, uh, I did my best and dedicated my time and energy for it. Then, finally, the time came for me to take the board exam. Despite of all the preparations, I was still very anxious to take the exam. So, if the day comes for you to take the exam, know that it is normal to feel anxious. As for me, I just kept on praying and praying until I felt at peace as I took my first exam. After the first exam, I honestly felt down because there were a lot of new questions which I have never encountered during the review and refresher, especially the, the objective type questions. But I did not want the first exam to affect my performance for the remaining two exams. So once again, I prayed and prayed until I regained peace within me. As for the second exam, it was fairly easy. Then lastly, for the structural exam, I found it to be average in difficulty since there were quite a number of tricky questions. So after the three exams, I honestly did not expect much to be part of the top 10 because of the first exam, but I knew I did my best. So while waiting for the result, I just kept on praying and praying. And I said to myself, whatever the result may be is God's will. I did my best because of him and for him, and may his will be done. I was ready to accept whatever the results may be. Then, May 11 came when hints were given that the results will be out shortly. So I waited that night until 12.45, but there were still no results. So uh, I went off to sleep. Then the next day, 
the next day, I, I woke up seeing a lot of missed calls, messages, and notifications on my phone. And I knew the results were out. I rushed to the PRC website and I was literally speechless as I saw my name in the top one. It was really an answered prayer for me. For more than years, I have imagined and prayed of this day happening and it finally came true. So may my story be a testimony that our God is very much alive and he listens to our prayers. Also, May 12, the day when the results were released, was my mother's 60th birthday, and it was the best gift I could ever give her. So that is basically my story. And now as you create your own story for the board exam, take this one principle by heart. Work hard and God will prosper you. Be diligent in doing your best. Because there is no secret to success. Success is just the uncommon application of common knowledge. So God bless you in your journeys ahead. And as you will eventually reach the finish line for the board exam, may you be able to declare, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Always remember to honor God in everything you do because living for God's glory is the greatest achievement we can accomplish with our lives.